So last month, the official Dragon Ball site gave us some preview images for the upcoming manga chapter. And it looks like this month, it's the same thing. Now we have some brand new preview images coming up or for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 58, which should be coming next week. And uh, I want to go ahead and dive into some of this, you know, unfinished art that Toyotaro's been working on. They've been posting on the official site. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is a trend that will continue uh, every single month. It's something they've been doing new. It's two months in a row, so they may keep doing it. But for now, it looks like we're going to be getting these. So I want to go ahead and break them down. But I want to also preface this by saying that I do not have translations yet for this. So, of course, we'll have the full translations next week. But for this, for these images, I'm sure we'll have something soon. So I want to go ahead and talk about it. So let's get right into it. This will have some spoilers for Manga Chapter 58, of course. Um, it's hard to say because they're not major spoilers, but they are actual images that will be in that Manga Chapter. So, um, you know, here we have, of course, Goku arriving with the Shunkan Ido, the teleportation, instant transmission, instantaneous movement, whatever you want to call it, uh, confronting Krillin. He's always late. It's been a thing for a while here. This was the final sort of um, closing image that we saw in the last manga chapter. So Goku, of course, like he did so many times in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, is here to save the day. Now, uh, moving on here, uh, again, some unfinished, all of this is unfinished art. Uh, it looks to be, and I cannot really tell from here because it's hard to tell, but I think these three are that fusion um, of the three girls that became that big girl. Looks like Goku took them out pretty easily. Uh, that's what it looks like from here. But because these are unfinished and they're not polished, it's kind of blurry and hard to tell where they're actually from. If I zoom in a little bit, I might be able to get it. It still isn't. It's still not that clear. But hopefully that looks clear to you guys. Anyways, moving on. Um, uh, more t discussions here. Talking. Um, obviously, Goku has arrived. And I mean, I, I don't. I don't have translations for this, so I can't really even comment on what's going on here. But it looks to be like somebody here. I can't tell if that's Piccolo. It looks like it is Piccolo, and he looks like he might be injured. So moving on. Now I don't. I actually don't remember if Piccolo was injured in the last manga chapter or not. I only read it once, so I'm not sure if he was injured in that chapter. But if not, he presumably will be in this one. More dialogue here. Uh, for the upcoming chapter going forward. Now, some action. We have, we do have some action here. Um, Goku taking on multiple opponents at once, very reminiscent of what he did on Planet Namek against Jis and, 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 and Birder, or Bata, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and just, I want to clarify some stuff here. Now, I know that Goku here, uh, I want to, before there's confusion, Goku here looks to have light hair. Now, this does not necessarily mean that this is Ultra Instinct. It could be, but it does not mean that because, remember, these are unfinished images, so this could be Goku with just regular black hair, but Toyotoro has not yet colored in Goku's hair. He might not have actually done the black part of it, or it may be one of his helpers that does it, his inker or whatever the case may be. So don't just assume this is Ultra Instinct Goku. It could be, but also I feel like his eyes... If you look at his eyes, he doesn't have that sort of innocent Ultra Instinct look. You know what I mean? That like, you know how Goku has that like certain different kind of eyes. So I don't think it is. I think it's just unfinished. Um, you know, uncolored in. This up here is colored in though. So who's to say? Um, I love, and that could also be Super Saiyan God as well. Let's not forget that Goku. I love these. Uh, I, I always have been a fan of these in manga. Well, in all comics, but we really see it in manga. You know, this sort of huge shot that Goku. I mean. I can't tell. At first, I thought it was a knee, but it looks like it's an uppercut or at least a hook right to the gut there. Um, obviously, this looks like saliva or it could be blood. Uh, look at that. I mean, that's just Goku cleaning house. It, I've said it before when I reviewed the manga chapter. Even though I'm excited to see these fights, it does seem a bit formulaic because we've seen all of this before. This moral arc is taking elements from various different parts of the series. We have stuff from... You know, the Namek Saga, Resurrection F, a little bit of stuff from, you know, a little bit of stuff from like the Android Saga with like 7-3 and all that. So, 
You know, Toyo Taro's taking ideas from various different parts of Dragon Ball, even some Boo Saga stuff with, of course, you know, Kid Boo and his connection to, uh, or Majin Boo and his connection to, um, to Moro. So I'm glad he's kind of like doing that, but I would like something a little bit more kind of outside the box for future arcs. This looks to be more of like, kind of like fan fiction, to be honest with you. You know, it really comes off like that in a way. Not saying that's a bad thing, but that's how it comes off. Moving on, um, let's see here. That's Jocko's ship, I can tell that. And Goku, of course, meeting with everybody. You know, again, it looks like it's just conversation, probably catching up on what's going on. Again, I wish I had translations for you, but I do not. And I don't know when I'm going to get those translations. So uh, if I do, I'll probably leave a link in the comment. What I'll probably do is if I get the translations tonight, I will put a um, pinned comment down below with a link to the translations. So you'll have all that to read um, tomorrow or whenever I get it. Now, um, of course, Google Translate also helps here. It says, is Goku finally showing the results of his intense training? You can read the rest of this in the V-Jump May special issue. Look forward to the release date. Now, I want to talk about this. You know, it says V-Jump May, but that's actually, it's in April for the May issue. I'm sorry, in March for the May issue because they released them two months ahead of time. So we're getting this chapter next week. But I want to also clarify some things too. They don't show Vegeta here and they don't show Goku fighting Moro. That does not mean that it's not going to happen in this chapter. Remember, we're only getting a handful of pages. There's way more to come. When we saw the preview images last time, they didn't even show Goku showing up. So I think a lot of this stuff is from the first half of the chapter. I expect there to be a heck of a lot more story, you know, as this arc moves on. So... That's going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about these manga chapter or these manga image image leaks. And I hope we get more of these in the future because they are fun to read. And it's always cool to see Toyotaro sort of like Goku's face right there looks a little bit weird. But that's because unfinished. You know, he's just sketching stuff. It's not the finalized version. But right now as we speak, he probably does have most of these pages done based on the printing release date coming up next week. He probably just sends these to the Dragon Ball website probably like weeks ago and they've just had it there waiting to kind of give us a teaser so i'm okay with that anyways thanks again i hope you have a great day and we'll talk soon